the last watercolor technique you'll need. What is a masterful piece of art? A masterful piece of art is that which was created with the least interference. What is interference? Anything that takes the artist out of the process. It is anything that isn't complete freedom of creation. Some will divide this interference into external and internal, with external being what other people will think or wanting others to love this piece of art, and internal being the artist's own thoughts, fears, and worries as an artist and as a person. But to those who pay attention, it is clear to see that these are one and the same. External interference is internal, so it all comes from within. The masterful piece of art is that which was created with absolute freedom. It is the ultimate connection between the artist and the unknown place from which the art itself arrives. The artist is merely the vessel, the conduit, through which the magical art flows. The art creates itself. The painting paints itself. Any effort, worry, anxiety, fear, and hesitation is interference. Even so-called positive thinking is interference. Because positive thinking isn't just what one wants to achieve. It inherently includes within it what one fears and runs away from. Positive and negative thinking are two sides of the same coin. The thought, I can successfully paint this, is mostly covering a I don't want to fail. The idea of trusting the process is an unconscious deal one makes with themselves to do what they can and hope they will be rewarded by doing so. This creates an intermediary. The doing is means for achieving the reward. But then the doing becomes the goal, and one quickly forgets they had a place they wanted to reach in the first place. Anything the artist brings with them to the process is interference, including themselves. And bringing any thought, positive and negative, is bringing oneself to the process. The perfect, masterful piece of art is that which the artist brought nothing to, including themselves. Bringing oneself is yet another interference, for the pure moment of creation cannot be accessed by bringing oneself. It can only be stumbled upon by leaving everything at the door, including oneself. What is technique? Techniques are mostly pre-made ways of doing things. They are how-tos. This is how to paint an even wash. This is how to match the color and value. This is how to blend an edge. It is yet another thing an artist often brings with themselves to the process. And anything that is actively brought to the painting process is also interference. One may ask, if I bring no technique with me, how will I paint? This question arises from a gap in understanding the following. It is not the technique that creates the painting. It is not even the artist itself that creates the painting. The artist is merely a vessel. The true art comes from that unknown place through the artist. The artist's skill is a part of that vessel, but it is not a doing. It is never a doing. And remember, thinking is also doing. The skill of the artist is a natural result of the artist's experience. The technique is a byproduct of the artist's desire to experience pure art making, to watch the art being made and being created. It needs not be brought actively or thought of. It needs not be planned. For one may find that by jumping into the pure moment of creation, the art creates itself in the most perfect way without them having to use any technique, because in that place, one can do no wrong. The perfect, masterful painting process is that which is achieved in complete freedom. It is self-forgetfulness, joy, and peace. Every brush stroke is perfect. Every mark, color, and shape is exquisite. It is a place that has no rules, no bounds, no preconceived notions, and no how-tos. 
Thus, it is only found by leaving all the rules, bounds, notions, how-tos, and even oneself at the door. The final technique the devoted artist discovers is the technique of no technique at all.